Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I have Salamander and Faster Fox with me because they are watching my timer because this is going to be a 10 minute video and no more. So I get asked a lot, why is middle school from 5th to 8th grade for me and what do I mean by middle school level science? So I'm going to start with the question on why is middle school 5th to 8th grade? As you're going to see, if you look across the country, middle school, junior high means different things. For some areas of the country, junior high is 7th and 8th grade. Some places, middle school is 6th to 8th grade. Some places, middle school is 5th to 8th grade. We follow um, a framework that is accepted in academic private schools of 5th through 8th grade being middle. It is what makes sense on the transcript colleges understand that and so i use it because i don't want to reinvent the wheel it's something that is established the other reason why fifth through eighth grade is middle school for us is because in our home school math drives grade level and speedster started pre-algebra in the fifth grade and the twins will be doing the same thing um, they will be starting pre-algebra in the fifth grade as well and so Pre-algebra is considered a middle school math, and that's what we'll be doing. All of the kids do science at the middle school level, even though they do not have an academic grade skip. So the twins are still in eighth grade, but they can do science at the middle school level. Why? Because I've given them, given them the questions from this exam. It is the fourth grade elementary science regents exam for the state of New York. I got it offline for free and it covers every area of science, earth science, space science, um, the uh, life sciences, uh, animal kingdom, food chains, matter, um, solids, liquids, gases, kind of everything that you would see in an elementary curriculum and they passed it. And so I know that they are, they are done with elementary science, not because they skipped any of it, but because they've been doing it for so long. So um, the twins, pretty much um, my husband and I, we were doing um, science camps and classes for uh, young children um, at the elementary level and the twins were participating in those. So they've been doing elementary science since they were about, probably about 18 months or so, but definitely by two years. Um, when they were like 18 months or so, they were like playing with the science, doing color mixing and bubble class. Those were the first classes that they did and they, were fine in them they could follow the steps once they were about two to three years old was when they really started to do the elementary level science and so they've done it all so it's not that we skipped any steps they've just done it because they started a little bit earlier but they do not have grade skips the reason why we didn't need to do any grade skips for them is because they're not going to run out of middle school science that's one of the beautiful things about middle school it's you know you get to explore and do so many really fun and interesting things like for instance we did earth science for first semester we're finished with earth science but for second semester we're going to do another aspect of that we're going to be doing environmental science really focusing on ecosystems sustainability um, alternative energy sources climate change and so that's one of the beautiful things about middle school sciences we get to do that because guess what for high school level, the colleges and universities, they have already told you what you have to take in the order you have to take it in. So you need three years of science if you're not going into the sciences, four years of sciences if you are. And so it's already clear cut, it's already out there. You don't have a choice. You can't do anything other than what they said if you want to get in and if you want to get scholarships. So it is pretty much biology, chemistry, physics, and then if you're going into science, you have to have another science on top of that, and there is no debate or question about that. So um, middle school is where you get to really explore different topics, figure out what you wanna do, what you wanna be, why you like it, why you love it. Um, so what is middle school science? I use traditional textbooks um, as opposed to what you find as more homeschool curriculum for middle school. One of the reasons is because middle, the more traditional textbooks are do, I think, a better job in integrating math with science, which is something that absolutely has to happen at the middle school level. And so um, it is going to, uh, for a child to be able to do middle school science, they should already be exposed to things like multiplication, factoring, um, exponents, that sort of stuff. And so since we use Beast Academy, 
um, the twins have been able to get that so that's another reason why they can go ahead and do it but um, you should really do that um, speedster of course has a much easier time with the math because he's so far ahead um, with the math another thing that um, separates what speedster does versus what the twins do is the twins do all of the textbook but speedster does much more um, intensive independent projects he's going to be doing some science fairs this year including feeders into the intel science fair or i think intel um, dropped their sponsorship of it so we'll see what it's called but um so he's going to be doing a much more intensive competitions uh, but the twins do long-term projects in their science as well um i love um that with middle school science you get an opportunity to um truly um play with the science in a different way it isn't just about the bells and whistles and bangs of you know mixing bacon soda and vinegar although that's cool right you like your yeah. volcanoes and stuff like that yes. and elephant toothpaste and that's cool but you get to really do um a, a job of doing um much more uh, real science um data collection data analysis reporting your results that sort of thing so that's um, generally what's going to come at the middle school level using seeing the integration of it and the reason why this is important you want to hold that you put it over there the reason that why that's important is when you get to high school level science okay uh this is a high school level textbook it says it's say yes it says eighth through 12 but it is really the high school level and what you will see is the integration of lots and lots of math into the science um it's expected that you are already familiar with a lot of geometry okay so they're really expecting you to be done with geometry before you start um high school level chemistry for instance so um you are going to and high school chemistry is 10th grade um is, is supposed to be done in 10th grade so the expectation is that you finished geometry in the ninth grade which means that you finished algebra in the eighth grade so see that that's why you want to understand this scope and sequence that's why you have to see that the math be integrated with the science because if you don't have the math foundation then the science becomes impossible and i think that that's why people start to struggle at that high school level because they have not really checked that scope and sequencing that is expected with the math and the science together um so also um, for middle school textbook if your middle school textbook is not using the metric system it is not middle school science okay science uses the metric system so make sure that your um, middle schoolers are getting a good dose of that these are some of the things like this is this is high school level science and let me see if I can get you to see um, you're going to be expected to understand things like neg oh, sorry, <laughs> negative exponents and, and doing things um, with negative exponents. Um, and we're just like in the front of this book, right? So um, making this, oh, here's some uh, questions in this uh, high school level uh, textbook. What is the relationship among frequency, wavelength, and velocity of a wave? Describe a location same or opposite side as a sent pulse of the returning wave after you sent a pulse down the spring describe the result when you sent a pulse down the spring toward a returning pulse what is a standing wave what is a node for a given length of spring only certain wavelengths are possible if a standing wave is to exist explain that's what's supposed to be done at the high school level if you have not done preliminary work in playing with tables playing with data playing with analysis getting a good foundation in math then that jump from middle school to high school is going to be hard and especially because it's going to be at the same time when you should be prepping for the psat sat act test and so in order to not have a shock to the system at the high school level we make we make middle school science a minimum of four years the twins will have about six years of middle school science that have good doses of math mixed with science math is a big 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 component of our, our homeschool we do much more math than science we do science about two maybe three days a week um but we do math how many days a week do we do math every day pretty much 
Yeah. Well, we do math about six days a week. Like today's Sunday. Guess what? They got two hours of math today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I'm getting. Oh, I'm over my ten minutes. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. But yeah, they have two hours of math today um, with a math coach, not mommy. Um, Speedster as well. Speedster does a little bit more math than them, but probably about every week they do um, maybe about uh, eight to ten hours of math a week because we want to have that good solid strong foundation um so it's not really about going through lots of science lots of science it's exposure having fun with it playing with it but making sure that that foundation is set so um i'm about to rush and cut this on off because twins are making sure i stay on track but um hope that helps give people kind of an answer to why middle school starts at fifth grade for us and what we mean when we say middle school level science this is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.